one thing i would even want you to um uh say is that yes the content does make you stand out i would not want you to make to turn your timeline like your whole timeline that you have on your page it looks like just a page full of ads it looks generic it looks boring it looks like something that people would not want to actively follow one thing i would want to make sure that you guys understand is that people are selfish when it comes to social media and they only follow their own interests you only follow what interests you and what you actively gives you entertainment value or gives you educational value or whatever what other value that you may want uh, when, when it comes to social media because even that's how it is for example if you are posting for example clothing and you're just posting pictures it looks just a generic page full of pictures i'll only come to your page just to see if i want anything to do with um dresses shirts clothing or shoes that's it i would not want it for anything else now if you want to be more of value to your remember you're competing in that particular clients potential clients timeline you have to remember that they are scrolling through that timeline and in order for them to stop that particular piece of content that you are posting has to be of value to them so when you actually do release content out there seek first of all that that particular content is out uh, is useful to that particular person for example if you're selling dresses as i mentioned previously or even shoes let me go to shoes selling shoes you can even just even into the, the way that you can show people different styles and how to tie their shoelaces that's up added value content people will be like oh that's interesting and then of course you can have a call to action for them to buy and so on and so forth but do you know what that will make them stop and want to see what you are all about that's one thing that you want to make sure that you focus on when it comes to making content and standing out on someone's timeline especially when you are dealing with a particular um type of market where you where it is flooded with but even clothes especially when it comes to clothing and accessories and other things make sure that you are actually very, um feel free to actually go deeper in showing that what is my clientele what headache is my clientele going through when they are actually trying to purchase this for example it can be like even when it comes to even shoes that even the headaches that people go through when trying to get shoes it may be how do you even get a shoe that perfectly fits you because there are some things i've seen some people discuss like oh yeah you're supposed to have this much space when it comes to your shoes so it doesn't actually press you so much if you're selling yeah see content like that now that's content that will actively engage with the client and will lead to actually better engagement on your timeline because I've seen a lot of you what happens is you post and then you're like why is nobody liking my god dad what's going on and then what's going because you just generically just posting content out there that's just of a like and even likes don't even lead to transactions one thing I would want even to as we go deeper in this um webinar for you guys to understand is that likes don't, don't chase likes because when you chase likes you end up making content that's only useful to likes and then what happens is just what suffers your pockets because to transactions because those likes are not leading to transactions what you need to do is making content that guides someone towards transactions and how it's, how do you actually guide someone towards transaction is they need to see the value of your content on their timeline. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip from my webinar, you can just send me a message and let's see how I can help you in making content for your business or your personal brand. Let's get it started.